So you saw this. This is this is beef. You saw the cow when it was all yeah. hung up and everything. How long did it take them to... to Butchering that complete yeah. cow? Yeah, how long do you think it took them? Oh, two hours probably. Two hours? Total. And they did yeah. the whole thing with... There were, it was me and probably eight to twelve native guys and some women and a few kids. And the women didn't do any of it. The men, the men seemed to be the butchers, and they had, they had the uh, the cow already skinned when when I got there. So that was that was cool. It was already on the ground, and they they had just taken the head off. And then I got to watch them butcher the sheep, and then help skin the sheep. And they they butcher the sheep by leading it around back behind the tree, a little a little ways away, and then lopping its head off with a machete, which was incredible. Um, like the first one was a clean decapitation. The head falls on the ground, the sheep crumples. Insane, I mean, just wild. That is a sharp machete and a strong man. Yeah, the guy, the guy was an artist. As a matter of fact, watching him with the machete, the, uh, the oh my goodness. Um, he was cutting so close to his fingers. The guy's probably 60. He was cutting so close to his fingers, I thought for sure like he was gonna cut one off. Cause he split, he had the uh, sheep hanging up and he split the entire, down the center of the sheep, the backbone with his machete. He had the, the legs tied up to a post that they cut and put between two trees and they tied him up to there and then just whack, 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 whack right down the center. Um, this is after we'd already taken the guts out. I skinned it and another guy gutted it and then we took all those guts out. I held the rib cage open, the guy yanked out the rest of the lungs and stuff and then... And did they hang them up to, to do the... Uh... Yeah, everything was hung up. Uh, except the cow was was sort of halfway, it was mostly on the ground because it was so heavy yeah. and they extended the legs to multiple trees in different mm -hmm. directions to raise it up enough off the ground and then they skinned it and they left the skin on the ground and and around the skin is where they uh, they worked over the top of the skin mm -hmm. and then they they spread out uh, coconut palm fronds all over the ground and then worked putting putting the pieces that they wanted oh. around on top of that, that makes sense. and they had some galvanized roof panels that they put some of the, the stuff that they didn't want to eat on so mm -hmm. that like they piled stomachs and stuff like that that some people maybe wanted to process and some didn't and they had a fire going the whole time and they took the sheep heads and the cow heads and they roasted them on the fire to burn the fur off. And they also were going to take the skin and scrape all the fat out of it. And uh, they were actually going to eat the skin of the cow. Really? I don't know how that works. Hmm. They burn the hair off and then they cook it. Interesting. I didn't realize they were going to eat the skin. I've never heard of that before. No, I didn't. I guess it's like uh, pork rinds or something. Huh. Beef rinds. So how much do you think this cow weighed? I couldn't say. Mm. It was it was not a huge cow. It was probably um, it was probably three quarter size cow. This is the first time you you've seen a cow. First time I've seen a cow butcher. Butchered. Yeah, that's a lot of work and sawing. They had a handsaw. They had to cut through portion oh, okay. of it to get into it and they, the guys took turns sawing through the bones because it was just a regular construction type saw. It wasn't a it wasn't a real proper meat saw. Right. It was just a fine tooth wood saw really. Wow. Zig, wow. zig 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 and then they go hey you you know and the next guy does it zig 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 zig. Really makes it a, an event. Oh yeah. Um, I've seen pictures of people using sawzalls to cut through um, pigs. Yeah, if you had a sawzall, we, we barely had a light. There was a light that was strung up across the road that kept going off and on as we were butchering. Sometimes it would go off and sometimes it would go on. Um, Sounds very film noir. Another thing is, is a couple of the guys were asking if they could have some, uh, if they could have rum yet. And the farmer who was operating it was saying no, they couldn't have rum until after they had, they finished the butchering. Nobody could have rum until yeah, afterwards. So afterwards, once we were down to the point where they were just roasting bits and pieces in the fire, we drank shots of rum out of curled cocoa leaves. They did because we didn't have any glasses out there, so we just took the cocoa leaves and uh, a guy showed me how you kind of curl one up and then pour the rum into it. 
Because you could do it with any leaf that curls like that. It's made sort of a little pointed rum cup. And we had shots of very high proof, 138 proof or so. Awesome.